Greetings, programs. My name is Wretch, and I'd like to welcome you to Rotgut. Now, this is a 1920s noir-style platformer, as you can see. That is amazing music. This was originally a Flash game that got greenlit for Steam, and it released today. I believe it is less than $2 to play, so I figured we'd go ahead and uh, check it out and see what we're dealing with here. Nice. That's all gold. So this is back during the Prohibition era. Whoa. Did he get sniped? What was that all about? So I guess that is us. Act 1, the docks. So this is our main character. I'm going to call him uh, Joe Gumshoe, I guess. So this is controlled via the keyboard. I remember reading that this has controller support for Xbox controllers, but if you don't have an Xbox controller right now, you're kind of out of luck. So we can move like so, and... Alright, you can switch back between weapons. We've got a pistol, and X and C. X is to jump, C is to fire, and it looks like we have unlimited ammo in terms of the pistol here. And... Wow, nice shotgun. Looks like we have some alternative controls as well. Welcome to Rotgut. Cool. Let's see... There's our first enemy. Looks like we can't jump on those. Ah! Can we... We can jump over the bullets, that's good to know. Nah. Coins! Nice! So... Looks like all these type of crates have coins in them. Let's go get that one that we missed. And we can backtrack, which is cool. I know some people consider that to be like a normal feature, but I came from the era, the Nintendo era, where uh, sometimes games didn't let you backtrack. Let's try the shotgun. I assume this is probably a one-hit kill. Oh! Yep. That nice 8-bit eight, eight blood action. So we got $14 right now. I believe from what I saw that there are... Um, ooh, there are stores. Press jump key twice to double jump. <laughs> this is a very fit detective we've got here. I assume he's the detective. He certainly he has the look of it for it. And let's not keep getting shot. You're getting a lot of money. Eee. Let's not get greedy. Ah! Let's not get holy either. So we need to have these fights from far away. Holy crap. So that was a chest it looked like. It's like we got $73. That was a lot of coin back during the 20s. I could buy a lot of hooch. Club. I love the art style of this game. It's very cool. This is something I would definitely have played back on the Nintendo in the old days. Press up to shop. Oh, vending machines. Alrighty. So it looks like we can get shotgun ammo as well as... health. Let's go ahead and get full up on the health. Now, shotgun ammo. And we might as well use the rest of our money. And holy crap! Hey there, big guy. Eating your Wheaties. Oh! I bet it's probably death if he... Oh, wow. Well, that was a waste of money because he dropped ammo and health, but... That was crazy. 
Now I know some people are like, oh, why do they have the shotgun shells and health in the vending machines? Act to the club. But I kind of was near the end of the era where you could still buy cigarettes out of vending machines. I remember there was a cafe where me and my dad would go eat breakfast a lot on certain on Saturday, like Saturday mornings, and you could still get cigarettes from this vending machine. Now, can we? Oh, we can jump on the chandeliers. Is this like a secret area? Nice. With an old school uh, rotary telephone. Kudos to, any, to the people who did the soundtrack for this. This is awesome. So, I... Now, I'm seeing another gun here. Um, here on the HUD. And it looks like a Tommy gun. So, looking forward to getting that. That'll probably make life fun. So, these guys shoot a little bit faster than the thugs we saw outside the club. Holy crap. Okay, that double jump is handy for avoiding this. Oh, I'm in a bad part of town. Woo! Can I use the stairs to my advantage? Stellar. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of bullets. I. Oh, there's blood spray too, and I died. So maybe the shotgun would be the best bet here. I'm thinking. Yeah, I think that might work. Especially with those big guys. All these villains have some very fashionable mustaches, though, I have to say. Ah! Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Noob. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Introduce them to old Bessie the Boomstick. And we can get re-get the money. That's good. Hopefully fi we'll find another vending machine here soon. But I remember watching those old movie tone, um, or those movies like, This is the future! And they expected pretty much everything to be sold uh, via vending machines, and everything was going to be like automatic. Very, very much like the Jetsons. And they kind of went that direction at one point, but... It fell, ooh, fell out of favor. So he had the Tommy gun. And just shoot you like so. And we know what to expect here. Woo! Well, we made it farther than we did before. I guess that's something to be said of that. Are you heading back here? Yes, you are. I would really like to get the... Hey! Like, it's like, I'd like to get the blood smear off my screen. If yeah, that's okay. Five dollars. Ooh, secrets. Well, let's go ahead and get the bare necessities. Money. Money. Hmm. I don't think this is working out for uh so oh, it's random draw. Fair enough. Well, let's not worry about that. There's another one of the big leviathans. Oh, there's a lot of them down there. Oh crap. Well, here's the exit. Let's just take these guys out one at a time. I think that's going to be the way to go. Hi there, Bob. Or Brutus, however you want to be called. Now let's explore down here. I bet the Tommy gun might actually be something we could potentially miss if we're not careful. And this is one of the normal gangsters. Cool. 
We're just flying through this if this is the end of the level. That's... What? He's on, like, a segue from hell. Boss, the fixer. Okay. Um... Woo! Okay, that's... that's easy enough to... to deal with. Just jump back and forth like so. And he spins around. There's that Tommy gun. Woo! The fixer had all the coin. Awesome. It's very Batman gothic. That statue. Congratulations, you obtained the Tommy gun. Press down to switch the weapon. Act 3, the Brody. Well, I don't want to use the Tommy gun unless we have to. It looks like we can get ammo for it, though. So let's do that. And looks like we're in a dungeon. Or a, a, your generic uh, Nintendo castle level. And it's Peter Lorre. You probably are going to kill me really, really fast, aren't you? Yeah. And I don't have a whole lot of recourse. So, can't really fight those guys without taking a little bit of damage. Good to know. I wonder what the Tommy gun would do. We could probably shoot these guys from far away. Yeah, oh. I like that. <laughs> Wrong gun. That's cost me more than a few uh, gunshot wounds and abrasions. I'm very thankful these guys apparently cannot walk upstairs. Oh, whoa! That, that guy was tougher than the average bear. Holy crap. Wait, vending machine? Yes? Excellent. News of my demise were greatly exaggerated. And I'm really... Oh, we only have 15. So let's, uh... Be very careful here. It's like spy versus spy. These are definitely tougher guys than what we fought. And I don't know if there's anything else that we necessarily... Ooh! Skulls. Anything that we necessarily have to get now, so let's just uh, continue on here. Looks like we're just having to deal with more of the same. Oop. You guys coming back? Yes, you are. Now, what's your story? You're new. You're squ squishy as well. I'm going to call this guy Knuckles. Hey, Knuckles! Kill it. So that guy just charges in, probably hits really, really hard when he actually does hit. More vendors? The game's very simple, and it's simple in a good way. You don't want to get too complicated when it comes to side-scrolling games, I feel. Otherwise, you kind of lose the... the simpleness, or the simplicity that make side-scrolling games so popular even today. Get rid of him. Is Brutus going to be coming back? Ooh. Well, he is. Whoever that is.
Paint. Oh, there's the exit. Keep on alternating between the jump and the... This is why I would really like a controller for this game. See? Like that right there. Whoop! Don't... Don't touch me. Please. Thank you. And that was the way out. Any secrets? Maybe another boss. Oh, hi, doggy. <laughs> My, how the tables have turned. <laughs> I'm getting the Scooby-Doo theme in my head for some reason. <laughs> I wonder why. Act four, the alleys. I wonder how many levels are in this game. I guess we'll find out soon enough. I'll see how far we can get here before too much longer. If it seems like it's getting too long, we'll uh, probably just call it and then you guys can go ahead and finish it up on your own time. Like I said, it's less than $2 on Steam. And you're probably helping out a, an aspiring creator who, if he keeps on making games like this, or he or she, because I'm not exactly sure who made it, um... I think we have a lot to look forward to. I see you up there. Ah, I didn't mean to buy shotgun shells. I'll take them. Doesn't mean I have to like it, though. Aw. Uh, whoa! I don't want to shoot the dogs. I really don't. Oh, he even makes the sound. To, well, to tell you the truth, for anyone who's been watching my Inside series right now, this is some sweet revenge. Oh, you're here too. So, you have a Tommy gun. You just zerg really, really fast. I know, I'm sorry, guy. Well, that could have been worse. I seem to I, I do like the Tommy gun, but all oh, that nice 8-bit moon there. I'm waiting for a dog to charge me. Who? Well, you're here. Two shotgun blast will take care of him. And we got a barber. More money. Let's test our luck. Didn't need it, but Maybe we could, uh, instead of sell illegal booze, we could sell illegal medical supplies. It looks like we're going to the rooftops. Oh, no, 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 no. There we are. I think the key to this game is just alternating between your different types of weaponry. Like, at the right moment. And now we're in the church from the first Batman. Or the Tim Burton one. See, that's actually... Speaking of noir, that's something... That's something I would actually really like to see Tim Burton try. Would be like a 1920s style detective thriller. Which you don't really see anymore. I think his, his take on it would be interesting. Now, this guy can... That guy, this guy can load a Tommy gun fast. That normally takes a bit. And we are now in a cemetery. Ah! Didn't want to jump. Wanted to shoot like that. Right? Oh! Oh, I thought they were going to knock me into the... We were going to we get castlevania would But we do have a chest over here. And looks like another crate over there. We're going to go ahead and grab that. Might as well be thorough when it comes to the money. And another chest. 
So this, these guys must, oh. This uh, mobster organization that we're taking on must really, really like their, uh, or this city in general. Must be like the Tim Burton's Gotham as they like their castle architecture. As well as their, their mix of cast 1920s kind of, you know, fedoras and coats. Act 5, The Deep Grave. We're just chugging along here, aren't we? You know, the music actually reminds me a little bit of a Phoenix Wright game. I don't know if it would do with you guys, but I'm definitely getting that that vibe. So, money. Ooh, Tommy gun ammo. I'll take that. And just some well-timed double jumps. The concept of double jumps like back during the 8-bit era, like revolutionary, man. We got normal thugs here, so. We'll let you go by all nice and scarily. Take our lumps. Wait for fashionable mustache to go his way. Ah! And more shotgun ammo. We're getting enough money now we can afford to kind of over over arm ourselves. This coat must have a lot of pockets. Now I think we'll use the Tommy gun here. Oh crap. Eh, we're not in the best of shape. Maybe we'll find another... Another vending machine. Or another... Maybe some health? Yay! Service with a smile there. No pits, though. Which is surprising. Well, not really, but... Because you wouldn't see, like, pits... On... In most of these cities. Unless they was, like, on a road or something. Oh lord, wrong part of town, wrong part of town. Holy crap. So, there was ah, there was nothing but danger and death. There went all the hard work we did. Was there another way to go? Or do we have to kind of, yeah, we got to take our lumps, so we're probably going to die here, guys. Like so... How about we try to escape a little bit? Nope. You are not getting promoted by killing me. <laughs> that, is, that is not how this is going to work out. Head over here, boss. So shotgun's best bet since we got the doggy. Indeed. Woo. And some more Tommy gun ammo because we were running a little bit low. Man, it still breaks my heart hearing that. And this is a very expansive castle. Ah, yeah, yeah, might as well. Ah, <laughs> I'm 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 alternating between the jump buttons and the actual arrow key up. And these are kind of perverse mobsters. Well, no, not necessarily. They sometimes mobsters liked uh, having trophies. And there we go. Much better. What is this now? Oh, it's the corpse from the beginning. Getting rid of the evidence.
So that must be our villain there. The bald head and the fashionable mustache. The gin mill. Well, these are some very brave mobsters if they just go ahead and acknowledge the fact like, yep, this is a... We make hooch here. Oh, wait. Needed to reload. That was bad on my bad play on my part. And Woo! Narrowly avoided that. If you guys want to drop health anytime, I would be greatly appreciative. Nope. More big big thugs. You're so, so nice. Yee! I'm gonna wait for you to turn around, since gruesome there. And shotgun ammo. We're pretty good on that. Let's get some Tommy gun ammo. I like to keep that at around 250. If only you had learned to aim up, Bob, you would have got me. Oh, crap. Well, that was a lot of heartbreak, but a lot of money. Look at all these corpses. Hell's bells. Yep. Got the health just in time for that. The thing about it is, is with the Tommy gun, you feel compelled sometimes to just pull down the trigger and let everything die in front of you, but you're still having to avoid their shots. And I like the... Ch it's, it's not ha a hard game, from what I'm seeing. It's just... Ah. It just... It gives... A, if you mess up, there's a significant chance that you are going to meet a very gruesome fate. And I like that. Forces you to play better. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I didn't know if that was going to be an insta-death or not. Sorry for that squawk. And got some health. That was just what we needed. Though it didn't really matter. And I have the sneaking suspicion we are about to have a fight. And we'll go 300. Well, I, I, I won't necessarily go 300. I don't have a spear. But it looks like we've probably reached the end of our um, enemies. Like, these are the ones that we're having to deal with, so... And here's the exit. Now, these guys in the coats... Um, remind me of Negan from Walking Dead. Would have been cool if they had uh, added, like, the barbed wire baseball bat. Just an army of Negans with Lucille's. That'd be kind of terrifying, really. So, let's wait for them. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. The boss. Uh, beg part, huh? What is this now? What is this nonsense? Hey, I'm over here. <laughs> Actually, it looks like the shotgun would do the most damage. Beat Big Boss. Just like in Metal Gear. Ooh, Big Boss had a lot of coin. This is my retirement pension for all my times as a private eye. Holy crap, is the money not going to stop? I'm okay with this. Oh, you can just exit. It's just going to give you maximum coin. Make it rain. I'll do my little dance for you. <laughs> nice. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go to 300. That'll take care of rent for this month. 
finish the game. So he just followed someone who was randomly murdered and found all this, like, bad mojo. Good job there, Joe Gumshoe. Just another day in paradise. Well, guys, that was, uh... Whoa! Nice shooting, Tex. What are you gonna do? The end. Alright. Well, unless anyone else jumps in. Oh, here's the crew. So these guys have worked on the game. Awesome job, guys. I love this. I would love to see actually a bigger version of this. Is the boss still around? Yeah. We probably should have... He's gonna fly off like Dr. Wily, isn't he? Oh my lord. You def okay, congratulations. You've defeated evil and brought peace back to Rot Gut City, at least for now. Now you can play the game again and keep all your hard-earned money. Thank you for playing. Cool stuff. So that was Rot Gut, guys. Um, really cool platformer. Love the music, love the style of it. The gameplay's fun as well. Um, this is on sale right now on Steam. I believe it's actually less than $2 even when it's not on sale. So help out these guys and give the game a buy because um, it's, it's, a, it's, a fun, it's a fun little time and uh, really enjoyed it. But if you liked the video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And I will link the game, um, the game Steam page, in the description below so you guys can check it out. And until then, later days everyone.